This is a sports catastrophe production. Hey there, hello, hello there. It's Jeff Cutter Diamond. Welcome you to another sports catastrophe birthday boy. And the birthday boy today for June the 7th is a man who Leaf fans should have gotten, but it, for their own incompetence. But I'll talk about that later. Anyway, this man basically is the reason why hockey in Texas is so popular after his team moved from Minnesota to Dallas. He was a star's icon. He's considered one of the most influential figures to popularize hockey in Texas and the southern United States. And that's Mike Modano, who's now 51 years old, who played primarily for Minnesota slash Dallas. And he spent his final season with his hometown Detroit Red Wings. That's kind of a, a crime in a sense because Madonna should have spent his whole career with one team. That rarely happens nowadays. Anyway, he's the goal scoring and points leader among American players in NHL history. Drafted first overall by the North Stars in 1988. And he helped the Stars win the Stanley Cup in Dallas in 1999. He's in the Hall of Fame. Anyway. So anyway, he looked pretty good. He was drafted from the Prince Albert Raiders, if you must know. So, Mike Bodano looked pretty good, being the number one pick by the North Star. Now, when I talked about the Leafs in my intro, I basically, the North Stars and the Leafs were fighting for that fourth and final spot in the North Division for the playoffs, despite the fact that, you know, they both were terrible teams. So basically, the, the Leafs won on the second last day of the season to get to the playoffs, and Minnesota lost. However, Minnesota had the worst record in the NHL, so basically they got to pick number one. So if the Leafs had lost, they would have had the number one pick. Would they have taken Mike Modano? Who knows? But anyway, yeah. But Minnesota needed someone like that. He signed, he signed with the North Stars and then played one more year in minor hockey. Well, major junior hockey. And then he joined the team for the 89 and 90 season. He actually was a finalist for the Calder Trophy for Rookie of the Year. And he lost to Sergei Makarov, who spent time in the Soviet Champion League and all that. Of course, the Makarov rule was implied saying that Calder candidates could not be older than 26 for the trophy. A lot of people said that Madonna was an underachiever who was who didn't help his team as much as the number two pick in 1988. That was Trevor Linden, who went to the Vancouver Canucks. Basically, Madonna was not scoring a lot of points. He was not happy with the defensive style of Bob Gainey coaching them, despite the fact that the North Stars went to the 91 Stanley Cup Finals against the Penguins. I mean, he had every right to. And then by 93, I guess after Bob Gainey left the squad, he actually scored a lot of points and all that and got to the All-Star game. And then things happened. But the North Stars basically moved from Minnesota to Dallas. So, Ronaldo Lano was now the face of hockey in, the, in Texas. The first Texas team to have an NHL franchise. Modano was told to be more a complete player and perform more attacks. And, you know, there's different expectations from fans and all that. Modano would help getting 50 goals and 93 points in his first season in Dallas. Unfortunately, Modano had many injuries and all that. So, after Ganey left Dallas as coach in 96 for Ken Hitchcock, Modano was actually encouraged to pick up more minutes on the team. He would play 25 minutes a game, whereas it was the 15 to 18 under Ganey. Basically, Dallas looked good for the 97 season. Unfortunately, Edmonton took him out in the first round, shockingly. And in 98, the Stars went to the Western Finals but lost to Detroit. However, in 1999, Modano would help Dallas win the Stanley Cup, despite having a wrist injury and all that. He would actually assist on the on Dallas's final five goals of the Stanley Cup. 
So he led the Stars with 23 points in the playoffs. I forgot who won the Cod Swipe that year. I think it was Hatcher, wasn't it? But Maldonado didn't win it now that they're call. I wonder who won the Cod Swipe that year. But anyway, Dallas was good. And then in 2000, he helped the Stars get to the Stanley Cup Finals again, but lost game six thanks to Jason Arnott's goal. Maldonado did pretty well. He didn't score a lot of points per season, but he was one of the top forwards in plus minus which is pretty good and all that. He became captain of the Stars finally in 2003 and basically almost went to Boston, but Madonna was resigned with the team. And in 2006, he was stripped of his captaincy. I don't know why, but I guess maybe he didn't want to. I'm not sure. Anyway, Madonna got his 500th goal in 2007 against the Flyers. And later that 2007 season, he broke the record for most goals scored by an American. That was Joey Mullins. And he holds the record for most points scored by an American, breaking it for Phil Housley. Magano was not to be signed to a contract by Dallas after 2010. There was con a contemplated retirement, but he decided to sign with the Detroit Red Wings in his home state. He had to wear number 90, obviously, because 9 was retired for Gordie Howe. He looked okay and all that, but basically he decided to retire after just one year with the Red Wings. He was actually the last active player who played in the 80s alongside Mark Recchi when he retired in 2011. That was pretty amazing. Madonna got a one-day contract with Dallas to, to retire as a Dallas star for all that. Madonna was hired by the Minnesota Wild to be an executive advisor. So anyway, um, Madonna's had a few flings. He married Willa Ford, who was a singer-songwriter. And basically, then they decided to retire. Maldonado married pro golfer Allison Micheletti, who was actually the daughter of Joe Micheletti. They have twins. Well, they have as twins, a daughter, and a son. So basically, they have two boys and two girls together, Madonna and Allison. So anyway, he's the founder of the Michael Donald Foundation, which raises awareness for organizations offering education and assistance to children and families affected by child abuse, acts of canine rescue, and the Wounded Warner Project. So yeah, he was a goodwill ambassador and all that. Mike Bodanel actually had a cameo alongside Basil McRae in the Mighty Dex movie, the first one. Which was nice and all that. I remember he was. So anyway, he got to be part of the all-rookie team. He was an eight-time NHL All-Star. Uh, went to the NHL All-Star game eight times. Stanley Cup champion. His number nine is retired by Dallas. Well, why wouldn't he? He has most goals and points by an American. And several Dallas records. All told, he almost played 1,500 games in his career. He just missed by one. Jeez. 561 goals, 1,374 points. Not half bad. And 146 points in the full season. <coughs> and, excuse me. So, yeah. So, Mike Mondano was a very good player and a benchmark for Americans to... Aim high, especially in a game that was that's supposed to be that the best players are Canadian, but almost all the franchises are American. Makes you think, doesn't it? Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.